I'm now ready to run the script that I downloaded and actually get the data from Wikidata. So here I see in my Wikidata test folder, the program called acquire underscore Wikidata metadata.py. I'll just go to my terminal and invoke Python by whatever command you need to on your computer. For me, it's Python 3. And then I'll start typing acquire and hit tab. So this is going to default to looking for the configuration file con called config.json. So we don't need to put anything else in here. And it should have uh, retrieved the data. It sees that there is no pre-existing file. So it created one from scratch and wrote it to the file that I specified in the configuration file, faculty.csv. And here we see that faculty.csv is here. Let's open it up and see what we downloaded. Here are the QIDs and the labels and descriptions. You can see that in cases where the property is already known, it has downloaded the UUIDs for that statement. So for example, Cynthia L. Bandish, an English professor, is a female. That's already known. So uh, it has a UUID. Uh, obviously, the, it found a value for the employer of all of these because they are all at Bluffton University. And here are the reference pages for this. It looks like a lot of them do not have of values for field of work. So that's something we might consider adding. Now, one thing that may seem a bit odd to you is that some of these have more than one record. So I'm going to just fix my spreadsheet here so that I can uh, scroll along and see why. So for Michael Edmiston, one of the reasons why he has more than one row is because he has two different employers. One of them is Bluffton University. The other one is some other employer. So what I need to do is decide, do I care about managing these rows of data? So for example, I, if they're, I'm not really concerned about their employment outside of Bluffton University, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this row. Now let's see if we can figure out why there are two other rows here. What is the value that differs? Uh, there are two different references. One is the faculty page and another one is LinkedIn. So we only really care about one of those references, so we'll go ahead and delete this other line. It doesn't hurt anything, to if there's multiple lines to leave them there, but it's a little cleaner and less confusing. And here are uh, some other examples. J. Denny Weaver. Again, he has uh, another employer. Let's delete that line. Jane Wood also has more than one employer. Let's, so let's delete the line for her non- Bluffton University employer. So it looks like we just still have two lines for J. Denny Weaver. It looks like hmm, one of them is a newspaper article. The other one is something else. I don't really care which one is, it is his reference. So I'll just delete one of those. All right, it looks like each employee of Bluffton University is now represented only one time in the table. 